The outbreak of World War I in 1914 marked the beginning of a new era in modern warfare. While the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand is often cited as the catalyst, it was the intricate web of alliances and geopolitical tensions that ultimately set the stage for conflict. One of the first shots fired in this global conflagration occurred on the banks of the Drina River, where Serbian river warfare played a crucial role in the opening chapters of the Great War. This article explores the lesser-known but significant role of riverine combat in the early stages of World War I. The Drina River, a strategic frontier. The Drina River, coursing through present-day Serbia and Bosnia, was a natural boundary of great strategic importance. In 1914, this region was hotly contested, with Austro-Hungarian and Serbian forces vying for control. The river's meandering course through rugged terrain presented both challenges and opportunities for military operations. The Siege of Šabac, prelude to river warfare. As hostilities escalated in the summer of 1914, Serbian forces found themselves under attack by the Austro-Hungarian army. The Austrians sought to quickly assert dominance and crush Serbia, viewing the Balkan state as a key player in the larger regional conflict. The first major engagement occurred in the town of Šabac, situated on the Sava River, a tributary of the Danube. Serbian defenders, facing a numerically superior enemy, employed the natural advantages of the river in their defense. The Sava River acted as a natural barrier, impeding the Austrian advance and forcing them to divert valuable resources towards a protracted siege. The Battle of the Drina, Serbian Riverine Warfare Following the Siege of Šabac, Serbian forces further entrenched themselves along the Drina River, determined to resist the Austro-Hungarian onslaught. Riverine warfare became a cornerstone of Serbian strategy. They leveraged the waterways for transportation, communication, and defense, turning the Drina into a formidable line of defense. Improvised river flotillas played a crucial role in Serbian strategy. Small, agile vessels were armed with artillery and used to patrol and defend the river. These flotillas disrupted Austro-Hungarian supply lines, launched hit-and-run attacks, and provided valuable intelligence. The first shots, riverine skirmishes. In this theater of operations, the first shots of World War I were fired. Serbian river flotillas engaged Austro-Hungarian gunboats and river patrols, launching ambushes and skirmishes along the Drina. These engagements, often overlooked in broader accounts of the war, were a testament to the ingenuity and resourcefulness of Serbian forces. Legacy and Conclusion the riverine warfare along the Drina River in the opening stages of World War I demonstrated the critical role of tactical adaptability and local knowledge in early 20th century warfare. The Serbians' effective use of the natural barriers and waterways in their defense not only delayed the Austro-Hungarian advance, but also showcased the potential of riverine warfare in modern conflict. The legacy of these early river battles endures as a testament to the resilience and resourcefulness of the Serbian forces. It serves as a reminder that, in the tumultuous early days of World War I, strategic and tactical innovation played a critical role in shaping the course of the conflict.